exciting. And man, it's good to be alive in this age. Everything is unfolding exactly as it is, was foretold. Good, the bad, the ugly, and we got to be careful or the, the bad and the ugly is going to uh, tear us apart. But praise God, Christ has gone forth on the great white horse fighting against the black, the speckled, and the red horsemen, death, disease, and famine. Uh, and the trial of all flesh has been... Uh, uh, come to bring God's word of patience, Revelation 3 foretold, to bring us to the place where we won't be tempted not to change. So at this Christmas time, it's time uh, for all of us to embrace the Lord's love. Uh, and um, I, I thank the Lord for each and every listener. May the Lord's face bless you abundantly and shine most mercifully now and evermore upon you. So welcome. And it's time to leave the safety of the shores. Go out to the deep. That is where the treasure of excellence is. He is the priceless pearl of great reward, the uh, treasure of excellence that we must desire because it is love and love alone that will set us free. Uh, the Bible has been veiled up until now. I know it and millions more know it. Uh, the Pope knows it, and uh, I come forth as a spokesman for the Pope, in a sense. Uh, and I have been authorized at, because he has ratified a new agreement uh, that uh, all the Abrahamic faiths would come together. And in Jesus' mighty name, not by power nor by uh, might, but by the spirit of love and peace that, that uh, Pope Francis walks in as the... Uh, the shoes of the f a fisherman, and I too am a fisherman, and I'm a seller of fish too. Uh, I'm a, a merchant. So, uh, but at this Christmas time, get ready to receive the Lord's long-awaited uh, promise unto mankind, for it's here, it's live, and it's uninterrupted on YouTube, so that people can hear it the next Christmas and the Christmas beyond. So make sure that the, if you like this, you pass it on because I got some exciting things to, to reveal. Things that, you know, we haven't seen the forest because of all the proverbial trees in the way. So get ready to blast off because the kingdom age is upon us. And uh, man, if, if we miss that one, no rapture going to help us from uh, what's coming. Happy Festivus! Festivus? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, I love Seinfeld. Happy Festivus. Festivus. Anyway, uh, welcome. And I know that you will thoroughly enjoy this. This is uh, one written in the stars. For the st from the star of stars, our shining star of Bethlehem. I'm only wearing this just for uh, two more minutes, three more minutes, so hold your horses, people. Now, I'm coming forth heralding as the messenger of Malachi 3.1, the, the message. And until I give the message, I guess I better keep this on for two more minutes. But uh, no, I'm, I'm kind of yanking chains out there a little bit, but uh, the truth is uh, we are a royal priesthood, and our king of kings has sent forth his most regal eagle of the eons, and he is our majesty of majesty, arising in the shiniest splendor of his own glory of love. It's always been about love and love alone. The Great Commission is now over uh, because uh, it's always just love. And now the harvest begins. And uh, the, the, the Great Commission will still go on, but different. The wheat and the tares cannot grow together any longer at all, said the Lord. And uh, you will soon understand why if you have a heart for peace and you want to walk in that direction. And even if you don't, if you're kind of walking there, even if you're going one step forward and two step back, you're still kind of getting in the right direction. So don't give up. The Lord uh, loves the just and the unjust equally. And uh, that's provable that he is a God of equality. He's never been a, a, a respecter of men, which the Bible says in several places is a lie. He's never had his favorites. He loves us all the same. And uh, I'm nobody special. I'm just the, uh, the royal messenger from the king unto the uh, house of his latter day, whose glory is greater than that of the former. And so unto a royal and peculiar people, 
uh, I bid the kings hello. And uh, so praise the Lord, and it's, it's time uh, that something really special has finally happened. And Mickey and Minnie behind me, it's been a, they know too well, and so do most of you. Look at BC right now, floods and oh, the apocalyptic happenings all over the world. COVID, Revelation 3. Uh, but the bottom line is these are all foretold days. And we gotta, you know, if we got lemons, we gotta make lemonade. <laughs> and at this Christmas time, it's more important than ever to have a good attitude, half full instead of half empty. Try to be optimistic. I get down to and who does not. But let the dove of love sit upon your head for a few minutes and let down your uh, long hair. This is just a wig that I, I grew. Uh, I actually grew it this long. And uh, to honor Yeshua HaMashiach, the risen good shepherd crucified, uh, risen again, the Lord of all. And because he was a Nazarene and they did not even cut their hair. So uh, these are truly exciting days, and the, I'm so excited and honored to, at this Christmas time to officially give something that the Pope has now signed off on. Uh, and I'm not kidding. Something, and I'm going to start reading here from, I am a writer. Moses said, one like me will come, Deuteronomy 18, 18, a writer, one. Uh, one who uh, will give uh, the Kingdom Age covenant of Malachi 3.1. It says so, the covenant messenger. It's Christ's covenant. He has sent it to me to give so that his word isn't a lie because in the latter days he is now the, the um, uh, God of all Israel and all the families of Israel and all mankind they've inherited, Isaiah 54. So something really special has finally dug into earth's circle as Revelation 4 clearly promised as our Prince of Peace's most loving spirit of forgiveness allowed Christ to powerfully slam his sharpest heavenly sickle into the earth for his love's grandest and greatest harvest. So welcome now to YouTube's second Kingdom Age channel. I have got the first one too. And I'm so honored to finally be able to officially announce that I'm now in all honesty, may I rot and go to hell if it's not true, that I am now the only authorized spiritual viceroy of Pope uh, Francis, uh, who has fully endorsed all Abrahamic faiths, becoming as one under the umbrella of Jesus, being the risen good shepherd for all. These are therefore the days of Chrislam, Israel's brand new name that God has given them according to uh, Isaiah 62 too. So these are therefore the most radiant spiritual days of our Lord's most beautiful incoming promised rainbows, bringing us all his brightest sun's shine. And these are his most glorious days of our renewal, days of our uh, regeneration and days of his foretold restoration of mankind, as he predicted in Matthew 17, 11. Elijah would come first and restore all things. And uh, this will cause the kingdom age to finally begin as Yeshua Jesus clearly predicted for his end time revelator of Isaiah 49. I've known I was this character since I was uh, uh, 30 years old. I am the latter day Daniel promised to come forth at the end in the Bible if the word of God means anything. Uh, exactly as Daniel 12, 13 predicted. Look it up. And the spirit of love is now guaranteeing the world that Christ's word uh, has not returned void unto himself. He accomplishes that where he sends his word in for me. I saw open-eyed visions galore, and I've had miracles. I've been writing by a lamp that was never uh, plugged in. This is the channel of the light of uh, Zechariah's candlestick of Zechariah 4. And uh, I have that light, uh, not on camera, but it goes off every day, same exact time. It's broken. These lights, the only way to turn them on and off is to uh, unplug or untwist them. And I leave them plugged on all the time. They never turn off. This one turns off every day, and it's off all day, and it comes on all night. That was a sign to the world, and it's at my other channel. I filmed it. Um, I have no idea how it's happening, but... 
Um, the sign is the kickoff for the everlasting gospel, which is the flying scroll. Zechariah didn't know Zechariah four how to say, uh, or Zechariah five didn't know how to say the flying uh, internet, <laughs> which is flying all over the earth. And so these are therefore the fearful and most exciting days of Elijah, the days of the absolute authority of Shiloh come forth, and days of our Messiah's messenger of his foretold end time message of king time love peace and hope uh, that's found in Malachi 4 that will prepare his own way uh, in by his very own unadulterated word his word in motion Malachi 3 1 says that uh, his messenger would prepare the way of the Lord by his word nothing that I've done nothing that I could do and at this most blessed Christmas time of 2021, I'm really pleased to announce that the Christmas compassion of Christ's birth and Easter's passion of his death, exciting. There's 48 half hour videos waiting for you at my other Daniel Owsley channel. And it's already recorded and it is the by far the biggest content channel. Not subscribers, people are definitely ill uh, afraid of what I'm preaching. I'm preaching a Christ's message of love and uh, but it's grown overnight in only 10 months it's grown to be 2200 videos it's a mountain it's a huge mountain of videos uh, and it, they all every single one announces God's everlasting covenant has been finally given given and here is the proclamation so that I can take off my zoot suit here my dad used to wear a zoot suit Hubert and I am the son of Hubert uh, these look like some uh, funny suspenders that I used to have. <laughs> I used to like Uncle Joe and Petticoat Johnson. He'd always have his, his suspenders there and proud as a peacock. But praise the Lord at this Christmas time, 2021. Let's say uh, a moment of prayer. Our beloved love will always come forth in a new and mighty way. Be the wind of blessedness that fills the souls of all mankind as we learn that all the creation has been groaning with great uh, expectation for the revelation of the sons and daughters of God who are gods, as Jesus said in John 10, because the glory of the latter house is greater than that of the former because the first is last, the last is first. We were made higher than the angels. That is why we will judge them. And that is why it is said that we shall be as the angels, uh, because that's exactly what we've always been. So praise the Lord, and let's get real, and know that because Satan has been uh, uh, removed in the spirit, whether people want to believe it or not, the truth is this. He's been the accuser of the brethren, day and night going before the Lord. But with this covenant, which I am now giving on behalf of Isa Yeshua, uh, Jesus, who is our Messiah, with this covenant, Satan had to be removed. Michael has removed him over a year ago, even though COVID and all the crime and everything, nothing has changed. I know that. But hear me out. Be a little patient for one second. The word of patience is coming to people, perhaps maybe just for this. But the truth is certainly so. The truth is that God's word has shown a great light in this world. And because he is saying, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I shall never remember. I will write my law and my love upon your heart. Beyond that, no one shall ever need to be taught about me again, says the Lord God. For all shall know me from the least of all mankind to the greatest. For all who commit not unforgivable sin and let in their love like go right out. Uh, all shall be saved, all calling upon the name of the Lord, and all sin shall be forgiven. Uh, man, except unforgivable sin, to let their love die. And all nations have become the Lord's, because the mystery of God is over. The seventh trumpet uh, of the angel with the, the horn has sounded, because the first is last, last is first. And that applies to Satan's removal. Lean not unto your own understanding. The word cautioned us. Everything is not chronological. The last thing uh, in the Bible is the revelation of the New Jerusalem. If you want to see it, uh, Google uh, New Jerusalem NASA. You'll see Hubble uh, telescope images of the celestial city 
I meant to have my camera right here, but to, to flash it, but I've done that lots of times on the other channel. You'll see it. And please go there, people. If you claim you love the Lord, uh, listen to the passion of Christ. It is amazing. The Lord had me uh, take quotes of Pontius Pilate, uh, Her uh, Herodas, Paulus, uh, Josephus, uh, historians, Herod, and mingle them all in like the Christmas story, stuff like that. It is it's just complimentary, and it, it, will, it will boost your faith. It's beautiful. I, I, I research well in order to do the work that is recorded. So get it going. Here, I'll give you a minute to go over there, and then uh, come on back. Did you go? <laughs> everybody says they're going, but everybody wants to do it tomorrow. You know, except uh, those uh, when the bomb comes, they don't want to press that button and, button and go to heaven right now. They want to do it later. And if people will listen to the spirit of love, then that is what will happen. Uh, so you got to let this uh, dove of love sit on your head. So now I get to trade uniforms. Now I can be nice at Christmas time. I don't need much padding. I've been on a... Uh, how do you say it? Christmas, Christmas diet. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm a, now I'm a Christmas guy, and uh, but I'm rolling up my sleeves. I'm ready to do the John L. Sullivan thing, the fish that shook the world because the pen is mightier than the sword. And you might even agree with that by the time I'm done reading this in a few minutes. Um, so thank you for coming. And I'm going to race through this as quickly as I can now because time is fleeting. And uh, actually, this is going to end up being, I think, part two. So let's get it going. And the wise shall soon see that this foretold Latter-day Mountain of food for the soul was clearly foreseen as Isaiah 25's misunderstood marriage supper. And it's plainly written in the word of God that it would be man's latter-day mountain of Isaiah 2, where people must beat the sword of the Spirit into the sickle of the Spirit, Revelation 14 and Micah 4. Since there could never, ever be another real mountain, people, you know that. Never is there going to be another real mountain on earth upon this planet. So uh, all logic would decree that uh, thinking that a brand new mount, a literal mountain would be foolish to imagine. And this mountain is what is awaiting everybody going to the other Daniel Owsley uh, uh, channel for their own spiritual blessedness. Please watch the Christ Christmas Passion. And only uh, the wise with open minds will be able to beat their kingdom age swords into the sharpest razor-like sickles of the Lord's most perfect love for uh, love's harvest at this Christmas time and all beyond for all loving souls. So blessed are those understanding that people, regardless of their beliefs, good, bad, or ugly, who are true, truly beautiful on the inside, and most people are good, they will always shine brightly with love's brightest glory, no matter what happens, and will see that unloving people who are ugly from the inside, they'll never be beautifully spiritual, uh, no matter what may come, because they're dying, they're in the land of the walking dead, their love has just become a noun. Uh, they got to be born again, you got to be as a little child, as a verb, otherwise you're, you're empty. And uh, for the wise wanting to shine as the son of love, they alone shall open their hearts, and then not by power, nor by might, but by the spirit of uh, our Lord's most loving spirit of unity's victory of oneness, shall his eternal love embrace them as they receive new kingdom age understandings uh, uh, about our incoming most blissful peacefulness. And when they finally embrace love's uh, greatest end time hope waiting for them at my other uh, channel, they'll be stunned by the holiest shock and awe of the Lord's most regal eagle of the eons, bringing that inspiration uh, by his whitest fluttering dove of love. And um, it, it's coming forth to be much more stunning uh, than the most beautiful peacocks ever. 
And as Christ's word comes forth to their hearts, his most passionate word of love shall always be holding uh, the melting temperatures of hell ablaze, the fervor of all the worst forest fires, and his kingdom ages blazing force of his love's greatest blessedness shall be exploding within them as they receive that illumination within as the most fervent volcano of his love's greatest blessedness. Then all over the earth his beloved shall hear that lion of Zion clearly roaring that Israel has now inherited all mankind, exactly as Isaiah 54, 3, 4 told. So praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all the stars of heaven's brightest lights. Uh, let even the rocks now cry out. And understand, well, beloved people of the Lord, that this prophecy has happened since his kingdom age covenant for all people of love's brightest hopes have finally been given to him exactly as Jeremiah 31 predicted. So that Daniel's prophecy of Daniel 12, 7, shattering of the power of the holy people could finally begin. This is a good thing. It's just an attitude adjustment is all it is. So don't be scared about nothing. Love is going to find the right way, and love is the right way. Just as the Pope uh, Francis has decreed that all the three Abrahamic religions, Islam um, and Christianity and Judaism are all the same in essence. And by the way, uh, when this comes, uh, Muhammad clearly foretold the kingdom age. He said there'll never be another important prophet in the future. I'm just a messenger of the prophet Jeremiah, which is the only kingdom age prophet needed, according to Jeremiah 1.10, his appointment, read it, um, to tear down everything, tear down all the rottenness, carpenter restoration time. But uh, the truth is apparent. Uh, and uh, that Muhammad said that his people of Islam would belong to another that sounds like Islam, for Islam, the name of Israel, when they get their covenant inheriting all mankind. And he said it would happen because of a book coming, proving God's mercy. He knew that was the book of Jeremiah. He just could not say it. Uh, it was the mystery of God was concealing everything of Baal throughout history and throughout the written word of God. Uh, and he uh, respected that. And, but he said uh, when that happens, there'll be no more of the Quran even except its outward form because his people would belong to Islam. So unified one world faith of love in action as a verb. And uh, by the way, people, for all you fools pointing at uh, the Pope as being Antichrist, get off your, you don't know, you're just ignorant, you don't know nothing. The Bible says that he will have blasphemy in his mouth. Uh, the, the real uh, lawless one has been revealed. He is more official. Uh, he's I got uh, a huge growth, uh, 150,000 uh, in one subscribers in one year and over a million on Facebook. He's the guy in Revelation 13 that would die by a sword because he's a sword swallower off freak show. He does, uh, you want to hear blasphemy, his videos are, are named like Jesus is Satan. That's blasphemy. Uh, the Pope and Trump, Obama, none of them got blasphemy like this. And this guy, the kicker, is right on his wall, right behind him. He's got his Hyperion symbol with 666 right in it with three paisleys. Uh, I got the right guy. And uh, the, the false prophet calling down fire in front of multitudes, Revelation 13, is Dr. David Auer uh, of Repent and Prepare the Way. Because you can see him calling down fire, just as the Bible predicted he would do. So these are the days for the shattering of the power of holy people so it can finally begin, so peace can come. Just as the Apostle Paul's manifested prophecy of Hebrews 8 has always declared, uh, he said the same thing as Muhammad, that all unloving uh, religion would finally be obsolete in these days that the covenant has been given. Uh, for these are the days of Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 2 that said, uh, that God would do this at the end, tear down everything, not built on uh, all, all kingdoms of faith, not built on his uh, true imagination of unconditional love. And know that uh, the Lord is tearing down all, everything that's crooked so that everything can be built up correctly this time and so that we can have a thousand years of peace. We need attitudes, adjustments. We need rebuke. We need to repent more than ever of much of our selfishness, especially of our love, not sharing it with others. 
So these are the days for all not committing the unforgivable sin of letting their angelic light go out. Don't do that because then you have no light left for your angelic body that's made of God's love. Because God in us is love. Those who love are born of God and know him. Because God is love, 1 John 4, 7. So know that uh, all this is as just as Christ Isa Yeshua declared in Matthew 12, 31, that all sin would be forgiven except letting your love go out. And once again, the Lord is desiring everyone to understand uh, that as his word says therein, uh, absolutely all sin. Uh, people don't have to accuse each other because he is no, not accusing us, people. Uh, so praise the God. Just don't let his light of love go out and wax totally cold as Jesus always taught. And blessed are the passionate, loving people who believes the Lord's kingdom age truth, that love is not a state of mind, but a state of his love's most merciful grace, always and forever. So blessed are fervent hearts believing that our living joy alone is our inner happiness through all of life's ups and downs. And these are also the days of myself walking on the wild side, believe me, of Christ's most loving blessedness. For these days of Daniel 12's manifesting prophecies, uh, they are here and it's, it's bringing forth the incoming millennial reign of love to begin overflowing in this world as a beautiful ocean of our God, Lord God's adoration for one and all of us the same. So love from love, peace from peace, the prince thereof, whose spirit has come as the thief in the night uh, of our greatest unfolding horrors to bring comfort unto us. So receive now much overflowing holy kingdom age hope from our living hope, Christ Isa Yeshua Jesus. And it came to pass that I, Daniel, the son of Hubert and Lois, had a great and mighty vision of Christ's with his sickle of Amos 9, for he is the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper. And he is standing upon the great white cloud of Matthew 24 and Revelation 14, as he came forth as Isaiah 60's most glorious rising son of love to destroy all gross darkness as uh, cl of closed-minded, empty religiosity that's been from hell. And as the word of his great restoration of Christ's last kingdom age came forth unto my stunned soul, it held the most incredible passion of all the poets put together, and then some, since the word of God, Isa Yeshua Jesus, Emmanuel alone, has always been the truest inspiration of all the poets, of all of all people throughout the ages. Uh, and as his kingdom age word came unto me, uh, his last end time Elijah foretold to restore all things through the Lord's word. The honey of his sweetness gripped down as the purest living water coming from the most marvelous ocean of his love's greatest wishes and blessings of awe uh, uh, and his best wishes came forth for all of us, which is now will be able to flood all over the er, everyone who has not deaf ears uh, to bring to turn the tide to cause a brand new kingdom age understanding to come forth so powerfully that the Lord Spirit's most glorious enlightenment shall be seen as the most glorious sun of uh, love arising and righteousness arising to destroy all gross darkness of dark uh, blackened uh, obsolete religion unloving and as the lord revealed uh revelation or revelation comes forth through his inspiration unto me the living word of kingdom age hope anew held the most fervent power of creation unleashed uh, by god's living word Pow was its explosion, and wow was its message received by me, for it became clearly understood that love always loves evermore, no matter what the fluff anyone ever thinks about it, since, as First John 4, 7 says, those who love are born of God and know him, because God is love, and that is God living in you. And as that majesty of majesties arose within the splendor of his most magnificent beneficence, his heavens then suddenly parted, and at the roar, loudest roar of that heavenly lion of Zion, the earth shook like crazy as the universe cranked. 
So hope from hope and blessings from our blessed one and enlightenment from the, our enlightener uh, by the spirit of prophecy. And as Isaiah 41 predicted, uh, the messenger uh, of Israel to be from the north, I am Daniel Fletcher Owsley, born August 19, 1961, in Detroit, Miss Michigan, uh, the messenger unto Israel that they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54. And as the Pope's dictates have proclaimed, I am the only authorized messenger of Christ unto the children of Israel, who is telling them that their fore foretold new name of Isaiah 62 2 is Chrislam because they have received their covenant of Jeremiah 31, promised for the last days, Jeremiah 31 1. And they have now inherited all as it is written, Isaiah 54 3. So that no more do we have to have the desolate heritages of Isaiah 49, 8 that we so clearly prophesied. So let all people now praise evermore our rising good shepherd over all the flocks of man as Christ prayed for in Gethsemane and John 10. And all opposed to that prayer of unity are fully antichrist. They're already standing in Morgan's line. And let the wise now begin arising in their greatest wisdom as they begin helping the curse to be reversed by love. So Elatra unto the highest heavens, uh, as all united people of love, now embrace the Lord's most peaceful, perfect way of peace uh, within, as multitudes start opposing all the apocalyptic happenings uh, with love's finest benevolence overflowing in charity from their own hearts, as they're quickened to realize that they're beings of love at the core. Uh, and uh, this is all in accordance with the prophecy of, uh, as it is foretold in the book of Joel for all people. And as the COVID's trial of all flesh does its work of Revelation 3's prophecy, the Lord is busy bringing his desperately needed word of patience unto all people to keep us from the suicidal hour of the temptation not to accept Christ's edicts of his kingdom age covenant to quit condemning each other uh, exactly as Genesis 49 12 says but with his authority and with his love flowing in increased ways through all people of love uh, sh accursed shall be days of wrath days of trouble and distress and days of utter desolation and uh, gloomy gross darkness accursed shall be that so arise and shine, celebrate, for since the Lord has sent his kingdom age message of love, these are now the final days of his most perfect seventh trumpet, sounding off first, since the first are last and the last are first, as Yeshua HaMashiach always said. And the, when the mystery of God is over is when the seventh trumpet sounds off first, because she was last. And then the mystery of God is over because God is revealing himself to love us all totally equally as he always has. And it's time that the hearts of the fathers turn to the children, children to the fathers, because we are ever more alive within love. And uh, for all those waiting to shine as the son of love, they can do so finally by the kingdom age revelation herein of revelation that's finally allowed to be uh, revealed by Zechariah 5's flying scroll on the internet, uh, which is the manifesting everlasting gospel of love, of which I am the writer thereof, as uh, it is predicted of a writer in so many places. Isaiah 28, line by line from the strong and mighty one. Uh, let those reading the vision run, Habakkuk 2, 2, King James. For the vision of God was for the appointed time in the end, and it has not lied. He has come. You can behold my soul is not upright, but the just will live by my faith, even though I've been transgressed by wine, because I'm already as greedy as hell, and I'm embracing all people of the earth for the Pope and for me and for Christ, pointing them towards a risen good shepherd. Unto him be all the glory now and forevermore. So praise the Lord that all this as it is foretold. And I am the one that has been foretold.